I'm not saying your parents don't love you if they buy you Mega Bloks. I'm just saying they don't love you enough to get you Lego. As a kid, when it came to building blocks, you either had Lego or you had trash. I can't remember all the Lego alternatives that were around when I was little, but there were a few, and Mega Bloks was the main one I was aware of. Searching for Mega Bloks now, though, it seems like they've geared themselves towards kids who are maybe a bit too young for Lego, but also kids who are a bit too old for standard Lego and play video games. This isn't the Mega Bloks I remember at all. To me, Mega Bloks was knockoff Lego plus gimmicks, like this. Many centuries ago, the powerful Man of War sails through a world of mystery. The Norvagan warriors are on the lookout for danger. Powers clash in a fierce battle. Discover the secret of dragons and the invincible Man of War by Mega Bloks. I never had any Mega Bloks. I did see plenty of the ads, but I tried to involve nostalgia in these vids, and I don't think that's enough. So what did I see and play with a lot as a kid? TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I couldn't get enough of these turtles, even though every time I'd play with my friends I'd always show up late and have to be April because all the other characters were taken. The live action movie looks incredibly creepy to me now, with their dead eyes and gaping mouths, but my mom assures me I adored it as a kid. Nowadays, I don't think I could even remember their names, unless maybe something sparked my memory. Maybe something like Mega Bloks TMNT Toys. Let's rip open a few packs. Kapow! And now that is a vibrant package, bursting with character, and literally bursting with characters. There we can see, yes, this is Mega Bloks, and also in the top left you can see it's Nickelodeon official. Very interestingly shaped bag, it's got a sort of diagonal cut at the top. Uh, I have no idea why. Is it is it functional? Does it help me rip it better? I don't think so, but it does look neat. On the back we can see there are eight characters, we're going to open 10 bags today, so there is a chance, however small, we'll get them all. This is another one of those packages where there is just no way I'm getting it open with my hands, so we're going to break out the scissors. Even then, didn't do it quite perfectly, but there we go, we can shimmy it open. And what have we got here? Oh, the collector list. Maybe there are more than eight characters, and the back just showed a selection? Oh, we've got instructions. Is this spoiling what we've got? No, because there, there are multiple ones. I guess some of these are more tricky than others to put together, so they show you the instructions on the hard ones. All right, yeah, it does seem to be eight. There's some robot dude who's got a Krang in his belly. I guess that is Krang. A pitch black turtle and a bright red turtle? Okay. Does anyone know if that's a standard thing or if that's just for these collections? There's a Triceratops looking dude who I kind of remember, but he's the mystery rare, so of course we can't see him properly. So what did we actually get in that pack? I just saw a glimpse and it is the pitch black turtle. Looks really cool. I just don't I just don't recognize it from anything. I mean, I watched hours and hours of this stuff as a kid, but it's it's leaking from my memory and maybe this is a newer iteration where there's a super powered black mode or something. I'm going to take a shot at putting this guy together on camera. I'm not sure <laughs> how well this is going to go. I'm kind of clumsy. I have big, meaty fingers. You can see there that I have a hitchhiker's thumb. You can see it bending backwards. I hope it does not disturb you too much. We got the legs on, though. That's no problem. And there is the head. He doesn't appear to have eyes. He just has black lumps. He's got the, he's got the white coloring for the smile. Nothing for his eyes. Although that is, that is cool as hell. There's just something about that, right? The little details where the, the mask, you can actually put the mask on the turtle. I can't explain why that's cool, but I loved it as a kid and I love it now. And a little katana weapon. Oh my days. These are awesome. I'm going to give you a conclusion at the end, but can I just already say that these are awesome? And there's a little base to put him on. I don't know if that's just for storage, or you're meant to have them as a display thing, or if that little base can connect onto other building blocks and then you position them where you want. I don't know. 
there is also a hole in his back. Maybe it's maybe it's a breathing hole. Maybe his <laughs> maybe his katana goes there. Maybe it's magical and powers his flight. I just realized I screwed up. I was missing a piece. He has a what do you call that? Bandolier? No, that's not right. Some sort of harness where he can uh, hold the katana. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this on. I think I might have to take him apart. He came with the arms attached, but I have a feeling those are going to have to come off. Unless I can mm, reposition him and, and stretch it over. What does it look like? Okay, it goes that way round. Not really. Not really helping me. I can't, I have no ability to visualize. I am less able to put toys together than a child. It's confirmed. Everyone, you're allowed to laugh at me, especially if you've done this yourself. I don't know if it's going to go. I'm going to, I have a terrible feeling I'm going to break this. And cut to the finished product. That took an embarrassing amount of time, and I'm not going to show you how long I struggled. He does look great, though. Looks even better with that attached. On to our next one. Hopefully, no duplicate. We've only opened one, so the odds of getting a duplicate must be super low. And it's not a duplicate. It's some yellow dude. Some bright yellow. Which turtle is yellow? I, I couldn't remember any black ones. I couldn't remember any yellow ones. I guess it's I guess it's greenish yellow, but I, I always remember them being darker than this. He's wearing underwear on the outside, like a true superhero. There's a lot of accessories. Ba boom! Through the power of editing, here he is in all his nunchuck waving glory. Again, there's something so cool about like the nunchuck can actually be spun. They've put a donut on the pizza, which I guess is something from the cartoon. I can't remember. Obviously, I remember they like pizza. Don't remember donut pizza being a thing. And the the accessories are just fantastic. He has a mask like the other ones. It spins. It actually spins. It isn't a solid piece. Let's move on. We've got 10 of these to open, so we've got to go somewhat quickly to avoid me eating up your whole day with a super long video. And I'm worried that this is going to be the same one we just got. Uh, wait, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. I just saw the almost yellowish green. This one is slightly more greeny green. I swear I'm not colorblind. All right, let's put them together. It looks very futuristic space age turtle. Bang, and there we have it. He has his little bow staff, I believe it's called, and he has some sort of, I don't know, space breathing suit. There is some detail on the face. I'm not sure how well you can see it. The hole in the back makes sense on this one because there's something that sticks into it. Maybe it was cheaper to just have a, 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 some sort of machine pump out all the shells with that hole, even though only one of them needed that. Maybe it's cheaper than having some with holes, some without. I don't know. Please cross your fingers. Hopefully we do not get a duplicate. We haven't had one yet. And with every one we open, it's more likely we will get one. There we go. I think I jinxed it. It's another one of the black katana wielding turtles. Well, crossing your fingers didn't work last time. So cross the fingers on two different hands. Maybe cross your toes as well. We are going to get another one of the black guys. He looks cool, but I don't, I don't need this many. Thanks very much. And there he is. There's the one I've already put together. Okay, so this time, cross your fingers on both your hands. Call a friend. Call your parents. Get them to cross their fingers and toes as well. Get your dog to cross his paws. Get your cat to cross her paws. I don't know why I'm saying the dog is a boy and the cat's a girl, but... Oh, blue base. No, it's not another one of the black ones. It's, uh, it's a robot dude. It's Krang, I think, because it's got the uh, little pink brain in the belly. Now this guy is pretty wicked. He even has a gun, although his legs are forced kind of far apart if you make him stand on his block. And I've got to say, my memory of Krang was he was in the belly of a of a big non-robotic guy who like had his chest exposed and was bald and was a bit of a thug and was really big. Maybe this is Cyber Krang, where he doesn't need that guy anymore and he has a cyborg to carry him around. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Maybe you could tell me in the comments. All right, the last one wasn't a duplicate, so I don't need you to cross your fingers anymore. Just just think think lucky thoughts so that we... Oh, what is this? It's a crocodile. I can't think of what he's called. All I've got in my head is Killer Croc, but that's from Batman. If you know the name of this guy, tell me in the comments again. All right, so I've decided that this guy is one of the most unique looking ones, and he doesn't seem that hard to put together. The arms are already attached, the same with all the other ones, and the legs are kind of bulkier than the others, so they're, they're simple to clip on. We've done it already. But there is one thing I really wanted to show you. First, obviously, I've got to line up the, line up the hands. The head is very different to the other one, and it sort of is, is going to line up 
with something on his back. Look at this. Instead of the sticking out tube, he just has a hole in his back, and that lines up, and it sort of, uh, it should augment the his overall body shape because it makes his it makes his back stick out a bit. So there's a bit more layering, if you get what I'm saying. This. We're going to skip this, <laughs> because uh, it's very fiddly. My hands are very big. This is very small. Th this <laughs> the okay, skip. Cut, cut. And here he is in all his glory. This is my favorite one. The, the accessories kind of lame compared to the nunchucks and the katanas. It's just a little little flask. Maybe, it's, maybe he has some Gatorade. <laughs> Uh, he is the most unique one, and therefore my favorite. The ones that stand out tend to be my favorites. Next pack! I don't know what could possibly beat that crocodile dude, but uh, who knows, I could be surprised. Maybe we'll get that Triceratops guy. Uh-oh, it's the yellow skin. It's the yellow skin. Oh, it's Nunchuck guy. He's very cool. He has a ton of details. I'd say this guy has the best accessories so far, but he is a duplicate, and there he is, fully made. Can you believe how fast I put them together? It was the blink of an eye. You could barely see it. Woo! And we are on to the last pack. We're going to give it a shake for luck. Hopefully, if it was one we didn't want, that shake would transform it into something new. And we have the red guy. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to be transparent. Because the black one was solid black. You couldn't see through it. This Well, it's not transparent. It's translucent red. Very lava-like. Much cooler than I thought. Here he is, fully assembled. He's got a lot of attitude. He has the most angry-looking mouth of all the turtles we've had so far. He is holding what I believe are called Sai. A pair of Sai. S-A-I. And he has a little belt that he can store them in. This guy, too, he has that, that hole that made sense for the space turtle, but... I don't know what it's doing on the other ones. I'd say that's a that's a downgrade, a point off of their overall score for having a pointless hole when they would look nicer with a flat shell. I don't know. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you don't care about the hole. But to me, if you're not going to use the hole to attach something, I'd rather it not have the hole. There's a black tattoo of like a, a, a lightning bolt on his chest. I don't know where that's from. If you do, tell me. And finally, here's all the dudes we got minus duplicates. Very, very nice looking altogether. I can imagine definitely playing with these guys, doing voices for them with my friends, having a party. Woo. Before I started recording, I had somehow forgotten about the whole needing to assemble everything part. I promise I did my best on the ones where I showed you the process. I've also got to tell you, I've got to admit that I messed up recording one of the bags but it was just another duplicate. For the most part, like I said, like I couldn't wait to say until now, these turtle toys do seem really cool. The holes in their backs are a little weird, but everything else is on point, especially the accessories. And I have to say, this sort of changed my view of Mega Bloks. It's always been in my mind that it's junk Lego. But the obvious care for making cool stuff for kids shown in these figurines has changed that. They didn't have to print a dang donut on the pizza, but they did it because it's cool. I guess moving away from being the crummy Lego alternative was the right move, and stuff like this, little collectible figures, is simply their niche. Anyway, that's going to be all for this time. Sorry I missed a week. Sorry I didn't have a video up last Friday. I'm going to try not to miss any more. And uh, until next Friday, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and have a nice day.